Hello, and welcome back to this introduction to NiFi series. My name is Malcolm Thyrus, and I am a big data engineer working at Epon Technologies. Epon Technologies is a boutique IT consulting company specializing in agile development, big data, DevOps, and cloud services. A huge part of our culture here at Epon is our emphasis on thought leadership. Epon strives to give our engineers a chance to share their expertise on any topic of their choosing. This is part two in the NiFi series, so make sure you take a look at the first if you need some context for this video. Before I begin, I wanted to say if you have any questions concerning NiFi or Epon Technologies, feel free to post your questions in the comments below. In this video, we will be transforming the data using the built-in features of NiFi and creating logical branches to better handle incoming data. We last left off with a successfully running tail file and put kinesis processor. Whenever a new line is added to our logs, it will be parsed and pushed up to kinesis firehose. This is a good start, however, all ETL processing needs to be prepared for malformed data. Rather than allow the destination to sort that out, we can add a transformation step between our extraction and our loading. For the sake of this demonstration, Here's what my data looks like. Standard JSON formatting and very few fields. First, we need to tell NiFi that this is JSON and that we want those values visible as attributes. To recap what was said in the first video, flow files that move through NiFi have the data itself as the body and attributes associated with it as a header. A flow file attribute is the metadata associated with that flow file in NiFi. Attributes can be added throughout the flow and persist through the entirety of the flow. These attributes can be any data that describes where the flow file came from, how it was created, what flow file it may have been created from, or user-defined data used to route flow files to specific destinations. In our case, we will use the Evaluate JSON processor to extract fields from our JSON and store them as attributes. Next, we'll process our attributes. If any of these are empty, we want to record it, but not send it to Kinesis. To do that, we will create a route on attribute processor and give it a list of conditions. For brevity's sake, I filled in everything here. But in short, this says, make sure all conditions are true. Each condition then states that the field cannot be empty. We connect them all together to create our new pipeline with the transformation step in the middle. Lastly, we'll place a put file processor to catch any error data that doesn't satisfy our conditions. And we're done. Once we start it up, we should see records moving through both sides of the pipe, and our clients are now only receiving fully formed data into the Kinesis Firehose. As an aside, there are actually multiple ways we could have done this. Our put file processor is placed where the fields may be empty. However, if you'll recall, this processor transforms the JSON into attributes. We can place another put file processor here 
to cache data that was not properly formatted JSON at all. We also have more options of where we want to put the dirty data. We can choose to place them in S3 or any other destination NiFi allows. It depends on our use case, but I just want to remind you that you have a multitude of options available to you. That's it for this video. If you have any questions concerning this topic, what's been discussed, or NiFi in general, don't be afraid to send me an email at mthyrus at or post it in the comments below. Thank you.